Hi, I'm Mike Brown, an internationally recognized photographer and trainer. This tutorial is an excerpt from my Masterclass in Photography online course. If you like my teaching, click the top right of your screen at any time to get seven more completely free lessons from the 105 which make up the course. I mean, why wouldn't you? Light is really strange stuff because it's invisible. You can see the light source, let's say the sun, and you can see what the light is landing on the subject, in this case me, but you can't see the journey between the sun and the subject. So you do need to be able to pre-visualize, imagine how the light is behaving so that you can use it appropriately within your photography. And I find the best way to recognize how light is behaving is to imagine it as a liquid, maybe water, so if I were going to take a shot of my mate Paul here in direct sunlight, so the light is coming from the sun straight into the side of his face, kind of like this. Look what's happening to the water, to the light. Look, this side of his face is really, really bright, <laughs> whereas the other side is in deep shadow. The light is shattering up and down but very little of it was reaching the other side. So that side of his face would be in shadow. If we had softer light, say it was coming through a cloud, <laughs> say it was coming through a cloud, it's gonna be far more gentle and it's gonna kind of wrap itself around him. Now look, we've still got this side brighter than the other and the other side is in shade, but it's not quite such a harsh shadow as it would have been with the direct light. And the more you smash that light up, the softer it becomes. Look, as we really break those little bits of light up, look at it now. Look at those soft, gentle little droplets of light. They're just sort of wrapping themselves around Paul. Most of them are reaching the other side of his face and therefore the shadow is going to be so, so much softer. Now I'm not saying any one of these types of light is right or better than another, but you do need to understand and recognise which are appropriate for different subjects. So if you want long, hard, dark shadows, then what you need, of course, is a direct sort of jet of light like that. That will cause those shadows. If you want softer light, you need to break it up a bit, either with clouds or maybe doing something in the kitchen using a window light. You might want to put a sheet of tracing paper up to break that light up a bit more. The important thing is think of it as water. Pre-visualize how it's behaving. Thanks, Paul. <laughs>